Hello and welcome to this video poster about the Curriculum Design Student Panel. I'm Doc Coley and I'm a Senior Learning Designer at The Open University. I'm Tanaz Crook, Student Panel Coordinator at The Open University. The panel was set up in 2016 to enable staff engaged in module design to work more directly with students. During the pilot phase, the panel had just under 500 students. By the time the panel became business as usual in 2018, membership had grown to almost 2,000, and by the panel's fifth birthday celebration in 2021, membership exceeded 3,000. Now, in 2022, the panel remained successful in meeting the original aim and recruitment is underway for the seventh year. In 2019, our student panel was highly commended in the old Learning Technologist of the Year Team Awards. Panel membership lasts for 12 months and we use two key questions to decide which activities go ahead. All activities should relate to an item, tool or methodology and feedback must contribute to one of three outcomes, a design decision, an output that supports students learning or another positive change such as provision or adjustment of guidance or tutor support. We also consider the time students are expected to spend completing an activity. Based on six years experience, we have found that 10 to 20 minute activities have the best response rates. However, sometimes an activity requires more time to achieve the desired impact, so this forms part of scoping discussions, aiming to get the time feedback balance right. Our first example activity is an online simulation. Flow and a pipe contributed to design decisions for a level three engineering module. After downloading and installing the software, students worked through a set of activities, then provided feedback using our Moodle survey. The module team needed feedback from students who were familiar with ANSYS. They were keen to explore the effectiveness of their instructions and the accuracy of timings provided for installation and completing the activity. The activity provided valuable feedback that helped the module team with providing additional guidance to support students using ANSYS, including screenshots from the tool and further scaffolding in the module materials. Based on student feedback, the module team have clarified the instructions and broken each step down using bullet points. They have also updated module guidance to advise students to download and install the software at the start of the module. As this process can take up to an hour, this change will reduce pressure on students when they come to complete the activity later in the module. Our second example activity is a synchronous online debate in economics. This contributed to the design of a new Level 3 social science module. Students were supported in preparing arguments for and against the debate topic titled Should Governments Be Involved in the Economy? The debate took place using Adobe Connect. The module team wanted to try out their new synchronous online debate activity. They wanted to explore the potential topics, group sizes, facilitation and suitability of preparatory materials. It was also important to find out whether the innovation of the debate activity would be useful for skills development. Student feedback provided useful insights that helped the module team to make decisions and further develop the activity. It also confirmed the activity is viable and useful. Based on the findings from this activity, the module team have updated the preparatory materials, added an icebreaker as an opportunity for students to become familiar with the technology, and provided additional support to scaffold development of language used for arguments and rebuttals. The activity also highlighted the importance of providing support for students with specific learning difficulties. Our final example activity explored Enquire, a research tool that was developed by the Open University in partnership with the BBC. The tool enables citizens to complete two types of mission, confidential missions and social missions. This activity invited students to try both, and they were also given an opportunity to set up their own study. The project team wanted to explore the potential for OU students to use the Enquire platform, enabling them to set up and manage research studies. The activity also aimed to discover what platform developments might be needed to make this possible. Overall, students found Enquire to be a self-explanatory tool and relatively easy to use for designing their own study. They felt that additional support might be required to support students with completing the design task and identified the need for some technical improvements to make it a more effective teaching tool. Based on student feedback, the project team were exploring what platform enhancements can be made and what new elements could be added to make it a more powerful tool for teaching. They are also using the feedback to plan how best to scaffold students in creating their own study. We evaluate the panel annually, using feedback from students, module teams and colleagues working in design, development and production. We also work in partnership with colleagues in our learning systems and learning innovations teams, supporting them with incorporating student voice in their work, while also keeping ourselves up to date with new systems and tools. Now that the OU Study app is widely available to our students, 
We have made our panel website available within the app so students can not only engage in panel activities on the move, but also experience and provide feedback on pilot activities on their smartphone.